When looking at the deprecated Picasa web albums Python API, I soon noticed that there was no way to add existing photos to existing albums. So this came up when I was migrating from Adobe Lightroom from managing my photos to Google Photos. So I, using the desktop importer, I imported all my photos into Google Photos, but it lost all of the categorization into albums. So the only way I've found to do this uh, programmatically so far is to use the Google Chrome's web developer console to export HTTP requests and make the required changes to add, programmatically add existing photos to an existing album. So uh, I can show you how I did that. So we have a time-lapse album here and I want to add photos. So first I'll open up the web developer console and go to the network tab and turn off recording. Recording is this uh, button here. So I want to choose a photo to add. So what we're going to do is we're going to record the HTTP request made when adding a photo to an album. So if I choose this photo here, start recording. So the request we want to record is the one immediately after we press the done button. So if I press done now and then stop recording, you can see the batch execute request. So if we scroll down here, we can see the request data sent. So we can we notice something familiar here in the album ID. So if you look in the URL, you can see your album ID is here. So ends in CB. You can also see that in the request data, CB here. So that means that this is our album ID and this is the photo we chose to add. So we can use the Web Developer Console's export to curl or copy to curl, copy as curl. So we can copy this HTTP request as a curl command. So I'll do that and then I'll open up a text editor so you can see the changes you need to make. So I've removed the my cookie data for security, but here you can see the main parts that we need to change. So we, we know that our album ID ends in CB. So this is our album ID. So it's AF, begins in AF and ends in CB. So that means that this here is our photo ID. So any photo you find on Google Photos, you can use this command to add it to your time-lapse album based on this ID here. So if you run this command, it will keep adding photos to that album. But you also need to, a way to find the photo IDs. So you can use a similar method using the search, Google Photo Search. So I have a tab open here with the with a request already made. So I know the file name of a photo I want to add to that album. So if I search by that, Google Photos will return that photo, but it will also show me the actual Google Photos photo ID, which we can use in our previous script, adding it to an album. So here you can see the request made is our photo file name, uh, but the response is the interesting part. So this here uh, is our response and it's in, encoded in a, it seems to be a proprietary format, but this is the important part. So we need to extract this value here as, as our photo ID. So we, if we can extract that, then we can use the same method we did before, copy as curl, and then changing the photo ID, photo file name, and then it will return our photo IDs like that. And we can use that in our previous script, add it to the album. I hope that helps. Thank you.